thank you all for joining us today for another exciting round of this championship season. Spa-Francorchamps then, a historic 19-corner circuit with a lap distance of 4.35 miles. There's over 100 meters of elevation change here, and with long stretches of the lap spent flat out, a good top speed will be vital for success. Anthony Davidson, a lot of talented drivers out on the track today, but what will stand out for you? Well, Crofty, my focus is 100% on the front of the grid. Like you said, we're seeing lots of strong competition across those positions, so it would be super interesting to see the fight for that front spot. Personally speaking, I'm hoping for plenty of overtakes. With the race minutes away from starting, here's what today's grid rundown looks like. Sebastian Vettel will start on pole. Fantastic qualifying from the multiple world champion. And it's Lewis Hamilton alongside. Considering the rest of the grid, we have Leclerc, Bottas, Max Verstappen, and Albon, Perez, Raikkonen, Holkenberg, and Daniel Ricciardo, Norris, Magnussen, Pierre Gasly, and Grosjean, Stroll, Giovinazzi, Carlos Sainz, and Daniel Kvyat, Russell, and Robert Kvitsa takes the last spot on the grid. And with preparations almost complete, Let's head down to the track. Okay, the run into turn one isn't too long, so the pack will be bunched up. Take care. Hello everyone and welcome back today for round 13 here on the Sebastian Vettel career mode. You join us for the Belgium Grand Prix. We were able to qualify on pole position after a good qualifying session actually and um and yeah we're we're on pole hopefully we can convert it to a race win as well um but but this time we're going to do something different i'm just gonna let the gameplay just you know run i'm not gonna do any commentary i want to see what it's like just to you know to see what you guys think of it just see you know just a whole 11 laps without me babbling on all the time so uh so yeah, I'm just going to leave it to the race. There's going to be no commentary. Make sure you guys like and subscribe. And uh, hopefully we can turn this uh, pole position to a race win. So uh, I hope you're sitting comfortably. We've got your popcorn and you've got a nice drink to get you through all 11 laps. And uh, But yeah, I hope you enjoy the race. It's hopefully turn out to be a good one.
flag. We're racing again. We're approaching the pit window. You'll be on the mediums. Some information on Verstappen. They're retiring from the race. Safety car is ending. Maintain your pace until the green flag. BSC ending. Wait for green. Okay, slow down, slow down. Your delta is negative, which means you are too fast. this lap. and tidy on our end.
let us know if you start to feel any issues. these tires now. We want to finish the race on this compound. Well then, um, so what we do at this stage in the race is we just pause for a minute, you know, we just sit here and pause, and because we have the power of, you know, virtual racing, we can do this. So, because this is a virtual game, and, um, you know, we can do many things in this game, we're just going to pause it here, and uh, we're going to do this.
behind is 5.8 seconds. There's three laps of fuel remaining. There's only one lap of fuel remaining. So as Jeff has just confirmed, this is the final lap of this race, the, uh, the Belgian Grand Prix, and we currently lead the way as we have been for the majority of this race other than the pit stops. We are still under pressure though from Lewis Hamilton uh, in second place here, does have the fastest lap of the race, and uh, we're going to try and use all of our ERS in this final lap to try and keep him at bay, but it's been a pretty a calm race I would say from us, uh, starting from pole position, it's been a... Uh, I don't think we've actually made any proper overtakes, to be honest. We've had to defend a little bit from Lewis, but other than that, uh, all has been really calm up in front. Actually, it's been a it's been a good good comeback drive from what happened last time out in Hungary and what happened at Britain. So uh, it's good to see that we can bounce back off of those poor finishes, and maybe we can even challenge for the fastest lap here on the last lap with our uh, hot uh, overtake mode and the ERS. We do get on the kerb a little bit and our gap to Lewis Hamilton seems to be extending quite a bit actually on this final lap so the ERS usage is definitely helping. I'm not sure about fastest lap though, we'll just have to wait and see what happens. But this is going to be good for us in the championship as we actually do set the fastest middle sector. 
So it is still on for the fastest lap. We could try and get the maximum 26 points. However, we have. Jeff has just got, uh, confirmed that we have actually maxed out our ERS, so we're not going to have any extra power in the final few corners. That could affect our delta time, but we'll have to see whether we get the fastest lap. But nevertheless, it's been a really good drive from us. We're going to come on the final corner now, claim the fastest lap, and win the Belgian Grand Prix. Awesome. Just amazing. Well done. Here's our winner, pulling their Ferrari into Park Ferme. What a fantastic race it was. Tell me, Ant, how did they manage to achieve this win? I think a large part of the result comes down to temperament. They were able to keep their heads when everyone around them was losing theirs. And that's allowed them to get the best out of the car, to maximise the strategy and to stay out of trouble. And here we are, a team that is no stranger to the podium, taking their place on top once again. A sublime race today and a stunning win for Ferrari. Let's have a quick look at how the driver's standings have changed. Sebastian Vettel will be very happy with that result as he extends his championship lead. After an incredible day of racing, who was your driver of the day, Ant? Carlos Sainz certainly wasn't someone to scoff about. His ability to follow race strategies throughout with pinpoint precision has to be commended. It's time to check out the constructors' standings. Ferrari take the lead at the top of the table. Meanwhile, Renault move up the table with another strong performance this weekend. I'm equal parts exhausted and elated with this weekend of Formula One. Be sure to join us for the next one. So that will be the Belgium Grand Prix then. We do win the race with the first slap in the end, followed by Lewis Hamilton and our teammate Charles Leclerc, followed by Valtteri Bottas, Sergio Perez and Alex Albon in sixth place, Kimi Raikkonen and Daniel Ricciardo, follow up in seventh and eighth, Lando Norris in ninth, followed by Nico Hulkenberg uh, inside the top ten. Uh, Carlos Sainz after starting 17th just misses out in 11th place followed by Kevin Magnussen and Lance Stroll Kvyat and Grosjean 14th and 15th followed by Giovinazzi and Gasly and then George Russell and Kubica round up the grid and Max Verstappen with another DNF due to a mechanical failure also bringing out the first virtual safety car we've seen in this career mode in terms of the uh, drivers championship we uh, extend our points at the top to now 10 points rather than 2 and Charles Leclerc regains 3rd place over Hepbalti Bottas Kimi Raikkonen also moves ahead of Carlos Sainz after a good finish from him in today's race in terms of the Constructors' Championship Ferrari move 11 points clear after being on the exactly the same points last time out and Renault move their way up into 8th place after uh, getting ahead of Toro Rosso who I don't believe scored any points today but that has been the Belgium Grand Prix. I hope you enjoyed the lack of commentary. Um, you know, we can just test things out and see if you guys like it. And um, comment down below if you're enjoying it and what you also want to see on this channel. But uh, that has been the Belgium Grand Prix. And I'll see you next time for Monza, the Temple of Speed in Italy.